Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Deck of Panning. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I will leave her channel link down below, of course, and this is a fairly large group collab. So I will leave either a playlist or a link or the hashtag, I'm not sure, down below so that you can find others doing the Deck of Panning Project Pan either here on YouTube or over on Instagram. Um, what a great project this is. It involves a game board with different prompts. It involves a deck of cards. It's rolling. It's year long. It's 11 months long. It's almost year long. And we can set whatever goal we want on the products. I have been working on the same stinking five products all year long, and I still haven't met a goal. <laughs> uh yet everything will be rolling over for one more month i'm 99.99 percent .99 sure there will be a product or two rolling out for next month but i couldn't make it happen for today it is really fun when you get to draw a new card and see a new prompt and pick a new product so i'm a little disappointed that i still have not managed to finish anything yet but i did pick some challenging products for this round so i'm getting there uh, let's just take it from the top. The first product was for the Queen of Diamonds, and at that time the prompt was Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, a product that's easy to pan. I mean, we're five months into this project. It wasn't easy to pan, but I am almost done with my Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in the scent Sweet Rose. That little bit at the bottom and whatever is stuck to the wand is all I have left. Can you see that? That little bit. That's all I got. It's almost gone. It is so close to being gone. Ugh. I have uh, put another lip oil into another project and so now I'm kind of splitting my time between the two oil lip oils and now I'm kind of kicking myself because maybe it would have been gone by today. However, I will say that these two products are completely different from each other. And the other one is one of the Lancome Juicy Shakers, which is like a $30 product. I didn't pay $30 for it. I got it on sale at Ross for like $6, but still it was originally priced for $30 and I like the Ulta Beauty one better. It is a much thicker formula. When I put it on at nighttime, I can still feel this lip oil on my lips in the morning when I wake up and that, um, Lancome one is good, but it disappears almost immediately. And um, yeah, I, I, you almost have to like constantly reapply it like every 20 minutes if you want it to stay on your lips. So the more I use that Lancome Juicy Shaker, the more I appreciate that Ulta Beauty one. And I think it's a really good lip oil. Those are my thoughts. For the Seven of Diamonds, the prompt at the time was Fragrance, and I chose my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer Sample. My goal is to hit pan. I use this every single day. It still hasn't happened. This is a pretty deep shade for me. Um, so I have to stay pretty light-handed with this, otherwise it's too much. But I really thought I was going to hit pan by now, and I don't. The next card was for the Nine of Hearts and the prompt was Astrology Sign. I went with my body spray from Victoria's Secret in Scorpio and I've been making, I don't wanna say good progress. It's not good progress, but I've been making progress from one month to the next. This is my new line down here. Um, I, you guys know I'm working on a different project with other perfumes and I only use this for maybe five days out of the month. And so that is how much five days worth of usage looks like. Um, I think once I meet my goal of using 24 of the perfume samples for the advent calendar project pan, I might zero in on this and try to make sure I finish this before the end of the year, because at this rate, I'm not sure I could finish this. Well, I've probably used about half. Maybe I can use it up even if I just keep going at the rate that I'm going, but I feel like I need to focus in on this like exclusively for a couple weeks straight 
to really make some good progress. Either way, this is where I'm at. I've used about half of what I originally had. So that's not bad. I shouldn't beat myself up. That's not too bad. For the Six of Clubs, the prompt was Graveyard. And I brought in my little sample of Meet Matt Hughes Liquid Lipstick in Committed. I have been using this over the past month a few extra times than I'm normally using it. But it's still going strong. There's still product every single time I apply it. I know you can't really see in there, but there's still product. And finally, for the Seven of Spades, the prompt was, Oh, the shame, a product you have that you've never used even once. I chose my Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Purple Rain. I've really been enjoying this a lot. I thought it might have been gone by today, but it's not. I guess I didn't use it as much this past month as I could have or should have. And that is what is left. So not too much. I know I can do it in a month, but I have to actually use it. So once again, no goals have been met for this month's update, but these two really should be gone by next month's update. They, they, they really should be gone. And if they're not, we all have permission to publicly shame me. I'm totally fine with that. But these two should be gone by next month. And I'll finally get a chance to roll something new in, which is my favorite part of this game. So that is it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.